I don't know if I picked you that up or not, but welcome to episode 41. That's pretty much the whole episode so. right there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, this this episode is yeah. very, we're super tired, and we didn't have anything. It's just been a super busy week. Um, it's been unbelievably crazy. My fiance flew in this last night, and it's that's kind of you know that's been taking my most of my energy yeah yeah but um we're dedicated to releasing content to you every week we got it we got it done we got it done done. we're 30 minutes i'm hoping i can't tell i'm hoping most the echoes are taken care of this week i'm hoping that it's something that it's still some content that you guys will enjoy um i wouldn't say that it's anywhere near our best quality but i will say this this is what it's really like to hang out with us sometimes so, yeah. come sit down, hang out with us. We talked to Mariana. Yeah, um, have some fun conversations about the polls. But we have the Witch Side Rendezvous coming up. Yeah, uh, Witch Side Rendezvous is going to be over the Labor Day weekend, so August thirtieth through September second. We gotta fucking take that shit back. It's going to be super fun. Um, yeah, but what we need help with is that we have a couple individuals that would like to go that just be can't financially feasibly go so what we're trying to do is raise a little bit of money to make sure that there's enough food for people uh who might be a little underprepared and make sure there's enough that people can get gas money back and forth and make sure that it's just not a privileged thing for people to go out to you know just think about that you know like if if we can afford to go how many people can't afford to go that would love to be able to and why should we deny that to them yeah so if you can donate whatever you can at which I podcast.com um, um, that'll all go to the rendezvous we're not um, yeah we won't it's the, everything will be donated we'll we're gonna we'll be donating to, everything that we get for I'd say this month yeah um, yeah towards the rendezvous. so if you're gonna buy anything from Amazon use our link uh, if you want some music for your, your donation go to bonds you can Stop bandcamp.com excuse me thank you bonds.bandcamp.com you can donate there and get free get music for your donation mm-hmm. or you can just donate shows. through paypal or, bitcoin uh redonate and if you don't want to donate via those methods hit us up on email you can there's a contact on which i podcast.com and we'll figure out a way of, of getting that money yeah um totally help people out um if you were thinking of you know, if you support the idea of the rendezvous, but you're going to be unable to make it, and you'd like to make it, donate a couple bucks. Yeah, it will. It will go to the right people and go really far. So I'm super stoked. Yeah. Um, besides that, I think I think that's pretty much I it. Right. Pretty much it. Yeah. So everything we have going on is going right to the rendezvous. So Sweet. hope to see you guys there. All right. Okay. Hope you uh, stick around and enjoy this episode. working so often. Uh, so we got uh, Mariana here today. Yeah. Are we starting, starting over? over? Yeah, we just started over. Crazy. Who the fuck is Mariana, Jordan? Uh, she, who are you? How, how would you describe, how would you describe yourself, Mariana? Well, she's, she's a, she's, she's my fiance. fiance. Um, what are you, possessive? You stupid fuck? Yeah, I am. I'm super, super possessive. possessive. Jesus Christ, she's her own woman. No. Don't describe her as yours. She's my woman. I'll never be yours. <laughs> he, what else? He, hold on. Just for everyone who couldn't see that, he leaned in for a kiss and she backed away and said, I'll never be <laughs> I love you, though. Nah. Why? He's yes. kind of cute. Mm. <laughs> Man, I it's lucked out. Funny so, sometimes. so, Jordan, how does it feel to only be liked for uh, eye candy? Like you're at a fucking meat shop. Well, I mean, I'm used to it. <laughs> of course. Girls flirt with him and boys all the time. Well, I mean, look at me. 
He's irresistible. So the people are just really desperate? Yeah. Okay. I see that. The Mario's like the, the first, first person that wasn't desperate, so I fell for her. You know, I, this is, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not trying to say this here because I feel the same way about myself, but Jordan's way getting the good end of the deal on this because well, I... you are way out of his class. No. You are not. definitely settling. No offense, Mario. No. I, we love you, but you're way too good for him. No, I'm not. Look, Look at, at my beard. beard. It's pretty nice. And my belly. belly. I love your belly. And your belly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not talk about his man boobs. <laughs> Or my manhood. His boobs and my <laughs> boobs are pretty much the same size. See what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so, have you guys tried sharing a bra yet? Yeah. I do remember, this is uh, something I learned early on when, when I first got married to Jordan's sister. Um, Your wife, because she wants you to Yeah, she wants her. me to call him wife. She gets mad when I call her partner and significant other on the podcast. Yeah. Way to be possessive. Yeah, I, I mean, I always call her, like... I just call her whatever it just rolls off the tongue. It's not like it's a big deal. I, I usually go with partner. partner. I usually go, if I'm talking in a group of people, I usually go with partner. Mm -hmm. um, well, you know, partner but, sounds like you're not married to me. I, I think that, that it just sounds it's we're just in it very together. Open ended. Yeah. Huh? It's, I like it that it's mean, open ended. Yeah, it's yeah, open ended. It doesn't mean anything. Yeah. I like using it in around people who aren't familiar with it. So mm -hmm. it really it puts, takes, takes them back. back. I like it because it, uh, if, especially if you're unfamiliar with it, and coming from a society here in Utah where so many people are conservative, it makes them take a step back and then they have to question. Now, is is, is he, he talking, homosexual yeah, or exactly. is he not? Yeah, I and guess, I like yes. that they it's vague and they don't know, and I'm blatant and open and then it shouldn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know that's why I really like it. I mean, usually by the end of the conversation, it's clear. It's usually. clear. But well, unless I, you know, unless I'm intentionally a very effeminate yeah. man, you know, I guess, yeah. If I'm intentionally uh, trying to avoid he and she, though, I'll I'll do, I'll do it on purpose. Yeah, I'll do it on purpose too. Me and Jordan act like we're a couple all the time, especially if we just have Is with us, and it's just me, him, and Is. Yeah. Oh well, shit! And actually, I gotta she looks edit like that both out. of you. Why? God, Kelly doesn't want me using her name. Ugh. I'll edit it out. At the end. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. You've said it before in the past. Yeah, I know. But Plus, she, she there's an episode with her name. I, I'm aware of this fact. <laughs> you could always do a radio from hell thing. Uh, I mean, that's not her real name. Just bleep it. Well, no, it's not her real name anyway. So yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter. That's just a nickname. Yeah. Uh, radio from hell, they have like funny names for... They have one of them Gina's. they call Muhammad. Yeah, it's Muhammad uh, Festus. Yeah. And, but, but they, they stuck, stuck with those names since, since they've since they've been born since they've been born so it's pretty funny yeah so all the radio listeners that's who they are and yeah I forgot what I was even saying you're saying partner and talking oh yeah but we'll act like we're like a couple oh, yeah. you know and yeah I would say yeah, it's funny because she looks a lot like both of you well it's funny like if I see her with him I would think he's the father if I see her with you I would think yeah because she does look a lot like their family. Yeah. Um, what's funny about it is that we're, we very rarely are like overtly like, oh, I love you, lover, or whatever, you know? <laughs> it's more just like, we the, both hold her hands. Like, we both hold her hands, and she'll be like, I love you, Jordan, you know? Yeah. And, and things like that. And she, she and then like, she'll be like, oh, let me see my daddy, and then she'll come over to me. So it's like, yeah. you know, it's very confusing to people. a lot of people, yeah. yeah. Um, it's just fine. Because, you know, she is really close to Jordan. Yeah, mm -hmm. she yeah. is. That's cute. But it, it's, we get we get a lot of a lot of strange looks sometimes, but sometimes it's just fun. It's fun to um, make people uncomfortable. Well, it's fun to approach those I barriers don't... with people and make them question them. And a lot of yeah. I mean, we're not. But it's I not even intentional really most of the time. Yeah, most of the time it's not intentional. Sometimes we'll just be like, you know, they just thought we were, you know, yeah, yeah they, they just, just thought we were a couple. couple. Yeah. I mean, we, we both, both were holding your hands, hands, whatever though. You know, but I don't think most people uh, will question it. They'll just be judgy, like, oh, you know. Yeah, but it, it, it's, it, it pushes, pushes the norm. It pushes it. And so, like, if it's one thing to say that they can be judgy, because they're going to be judgy either way, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But if they're judgy and you're being open, then it makes being open that much more acceptable. Yeah, that's true. 
So, I mean, that's that's why I like it. And it doesn't matter. They don't need to know the It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what the dynamic of our relationship is. I don't need to know the details of anyone's relationship. I'm getting a really bad echo on your microphone. Yeah. I am. Is it just... I don't know. See, now I'm not when you're talking to it like that. Now I got it. That's so weird. It yeah. is. Because I didn't get it when I, when I set up the studio earlier. Oh, oh well. It's, I, I think, think it's, it's just, just in my microphone. microphone. This microphone's been a little weird. Yeah. What we get for buying secondhand. Well, this one's in just fine. Yep. Huh. People are bored. People are, why are people bored? Of this conversation. About breaking stereotypes and norms? No, about microphones. Oh. <laughs> they don't care about our, our amazing microphones that they help purchase Do by the care? kindness of their hearts? Hey, we should have a, we should have a Google phone number. We do have. I actually have a Google phone number. You should put it on the thing. Uh, I got it when you were in prison. And I never got it to work right. It'd be funny for people to leave messages. I would love it. Uh, yeah, I'll have to play it. It's thirty vegan. I can't remember the area. Do you cut, ever though. get messages from people like? No, uh-uh. I never give the number out from anyone. Have you ever gotten any message like, "Hey, I like your podcast"? Oh yeah, or... yeah, yeah. I don't know why. The one thing that we haven't got, we've gotten a couple small criticisms. Which is great. I love it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've never even got hate mail yet. And I'm really surprised by that. Have What's there to hate? I thought uh, on Reddit you got people that were saying... Yeah, yeah there was a couple. That. I was, I'd, I'd take, take that more as criticism, criticism though. Yeah, the, we, got, we did get some people on Reddit. Some people, one person uh, on Reddit said that they didn't think that we understood anarchism. Mm-hmm. Which I find funny yeah, yeah, more than anything else. Yeah, yeah I mean... <laughs> Because who's, whose ideas of, of anarchism, anarchism? Because I've never met referencing. two anarchists that agree completely on anything. Yeah. yeah. Um, and so I, and I thought it was really funny because they, basing it off they of. were basing it off of we were talking about economic structures. Okay, okay yeah, yeah, so, so we were talking, talking about anarchist economics, economics which is something, something that's, that's never talked about. about. It's very rarely talked about. And so, about. yeah, if they, they think that that's our whole idea of anarchism, they probably think we're like ANCAPs or something. Yeah. Which is understandable. But, yeah, I mean... I mean, me and Jordan have different ideas on anarchism. I mean, and mine's, mine's better. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's he's way more uh, green. green. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally, totally. He's way more green. But I'm, I'm an anarcho syndicalist with. But I say that with green. green. I always love how you say that. I'm an anarcho syndicalist with green <laughs> tendencies, and now now I just tell him like I'm an anarchist that just wants to challenge authority. Now, like, I, I, I have a hard time like identifying with any certain tendency right now like honestly the the, the only, only aspect, aspect of green, green that i don't, don't have is like the, the primitive, primitive. I, see that's what completely sways me from from being green is the primitive aspect i'm not a primitivist i'm a speciesist i think it's okay to use resources i think it's okay you know I, I think you know we should look out for the human species above other species i'm okay with those things so that's why i have a hard time going in, in that direction so you're not so green <laughs> no I'm, I'm that's what i'm saying i, I don't i don't deny that um, but to people who aren't familiar with like my deep politics and that, they think I'm like this huge environmentalist because I do have a very strong environmental feelings. I do mm-hmm. feel we should take, you know, be good stewards and we should take, can, you know, uh, we should take care of the, the world we live in. We should, you know, not be assholes basically. Yeah. yeah. You know, like we should be, re- I don't even know. You know what I mean? Like yeah, things no, should I... be done responsibly. Like I'm okay <laughs> with was still like i think still is a great invention that we need which means you have to be okay with the mining and refining I'm, process of yeah. still i'm not i'm not um completely 100 percent like abolish it i'm just sustainable yeah. which, which, which is, is kind of funny because, because like when, when i come from the animal rights, rights aspect, aspect i'm like no, no abolish it. it see and i'm not that's the yeah. difference like I, I i'm okay if it gets abolished but i'm not gonna fight for abolishing it anymore now you uh like circuses rodeo that i think should be abolished but as far as like food um i don't think it's realistic to to think that people aren't going to go out there and hunt for that's what that's my whole point but But i think think it's a realistic idea that we can fucking shut down factory farms yeah yeah i agree with you on that you know but i don't think it's realistic to say the whole world should be vegan and And it and it wouldn't be i mean you couldn't even live in parts of the world that people are currently living in being vegan no i mean that's just i i i know some people argue with me on that but fuck it, you know, no so it's, it's tell, tell, tell Inuits, Inuits can't yeah, live exactly. without the fat content yeah. they, they just need it there's not you know and it's arguable to say they shouldn't be living there but then who am i to say someone else you shouldn't live somewhere we, we fucking, fucking shouldn't, shouldn't live in a desert. desert i mean yeah what's my place to say that yeah, yeah. 
It's true. Um, so, and what? So we're we're talking a lot about this, Mari. Do you identify as an anarchist? I don't know. I guess not, because I don't really understand much of it. Like I don't know much about it, so I couldn't really say. It. Like well, if I said that, I would just not know what I'm talking about. Well, I guess from from, from my, my conversations, conversations with you, with, I know that you are pretty, pretty much, much on on the on the, the way, way to becoming an anarchist. anarchist. I, I, I mean, I know, I know that you wouldn't identify it as yourself, and, and so I'm not going to identify you as one, but you definitely... Like, I don't believe in anything, so, like, in anything hap- that could happen. So, yeah. Like, if I don't think it can happen, it's like, what would I care? Like, I don't care about... Yeah, I think you're very similar to Callie in, in this aspect. Um, she doesn't classify herself as an anarchist, even though she is way closer to being an anarchist than some people I know who claim to be anarchists. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. Um, it's, it, it's hard, you know, and to come out and say, like making a hard stance on something like that, you know, it's hard because especially when you're saying I'm an anarchist, it's something that people challenge you on all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, Oh, you're, you're an anarchist. So blah, 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 blah. blah. And, and then, then you have to, have to and, and even, even amongst, amongst anarchists, anarchists are like, oh, okay, so uh, what, what are your beliefs? beliefs? Yeah. What yeah, have you so read? Have you read Kuhn? I wouldn't Hon? feel comfortable you read saying that because Kuhn? I don't really know anything about it. So, so how do you feel with um, Jordan and his political beliefs? I'm fine. Has, has that Im- impacted your relationship? Like, what was the biggest argument you had about politics? I don't. I mean, I'm sure we if you're, have I mean, you don't some, have to. I mean, you... but I don't really remember, do you? Um, I remember. I think, I think we, we fought, fought when. Oh, I think about about jokes because I'm really sensitive with jokes. Like, yeah, I don't like it when people um, make jokes about really serious things. And he's like, "Oh, it's okay." See, and I'm the exact opposite of you on that. I think we, it's good to to be able to laugh at ourselves on serious yeah, issues. Yeah, I think so too. But I think I, don't I know. think Jeremy's even more extreme than me when it comes to jokes. jokes. Yeah. I would agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> Like I'm even to the point like, like, like this is. But I think it might like if you don't know someone or if you know that it might hurt people or just bring bad memories. I think that's wrong. That's why I think it's wrong. You know, I think the role of, of the or just comedians... like triggers something. Yeah, for people but, like and, and this and I think that's a totally reasonable feeling. I'm not. Yeah, and I that's mean, fine. Like, have for example, example, like you, you know, know, rape, rape culture. culture. Yeah. Do, do we? We, but you shouldn't joke, joke about rape. Well, I don't I, think you should. See, and this is where I, me and him differ. Mm-hmm. Because I think that the role of the, the comedian is to bring about things that people don't talk about and force a discussion and force it to be uncomfortable. So, like, rape jokes force something that's going to be, that's a silent crime. I mean, sexual assault is a, is a crime of silence, right? Mm-hmm. So they're taking a crime of silence and forcing a discussion on it and forcing people to confront it, forcing people to feel uncomfortable about it. That's why I, I don't feel like those things should be, you know, should be censored because it takes things that are, should be addressed in a, in a society and forces I mean, yeah, the address they sh- of it. They should be addressed, but like, but, I don't but, think... but if they're making fun of it, like, oh, it's okay to do it, you know, then it's like people, oh yeah, it's so funny. People don't take it seriously. You know what I mean? Like, okay. But I would, I would pose not talking about that creates the same thing. Not talking about it does create the idea that it's okay because when someone gets raped, it's not talked about. Hence, it's okay. But, so the the idea of joking about it makes people feel uncomfortable, and that's what makes people laugh is that they're uncomfortable because they're realizing a truth that's being said, and it's a sad fucking truth. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm from, from the. And then, that being said, that not all jokes about rape are that way. No. There's some that I don't find funny, and I think cross the line. And but that being in there, I don't think you know that those should be, you know, if you don't agree with that, that's fine. You just shouldn't support that comedian. But I'm not going to go out and personally, like, abol- you know, fight for a comedian to not be heard. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Lisa Lampanelli, I'm, you know, but I still think that she, I'm not going to fight for her to be silent. I'm, I'm not, not, I'm not for, for any, any sort, sort of censorship. censorship. Yeah. I'm just, I don't think that, that... But it's appropriate. That are, yeah, that are just too I'm much not saying, saying to censor, censor anybody. People, people have, have the right to say whatever the fuck they want. Well, yeah, as yeah, ignorant yeah, as it is. Um, do, you want, but, do you want some more tea? Sure. But, but I, I like, like 
my my whole idea, idea is not the it's not, not on the aspect of the abuser it's of, of, the of the survivor i don't want the survivor going, going to, to see something, something and well, bringing back memories that they shouldn't yeah. have to deal with you know and, and that's a hard issue yeah. because um like one one of the greatest things about uh I mean, let's just continue to talk about rape one of the greatest things about uh, events like take back the night right it's all about victims coming together mm-hmm. and they talk about rape and they talk about it in a deep sense so would you say that someone who suffered from rape shouldn't go to a take back the night because they might relive the situation they were in? I think, no, but I they're put, they're they putting. Know, but they, if they know what they're going, for, yeah, they right? know. Wouldn't you? You're not going that... to a comedy event. You're yeah, but going to. You, it's not like comedians that joke about rape in their sets. You know those type of comedians. Like you know, Daniel Tosh is going to talk about rape. Don't fucking go see Daniel Tosh. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, like Lee Lapinelli is going to talk about rape. Just don't go see Lapinelli. Like, isn't that more responsible? I can, I can get it, it but you you, you, you don't, don't know, know absolutely if exactly. certain like, comedians are going to. I think I, they... But it sounds like you're on the border of censorship, though, because you're basically saying a comedian I'm not, should no, I'm not say saying... something because there might be someone that could be offended. No, I think... I think, I think they, they should, should be responsible. weird. Maybe uh-huh. it's wrong or whatever, but you know, like, those CDs that are, like, um, that they have... The parental advisory? Yeah. Mm-hmm. They should be like, hey, this, like, trigger warning, you know? This could trigger someone about this and this, you know? So don't come here, or don't listen to this if you know what I mean? It's just like a warning, and so if you want to still go, you go. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not saying. I'm not saying, I'm not saying censorship in any way. I just. I just, I just think, think that people need to be more aware of other people. You know, when, when they're, they're writing. writing it. See, and I would say that comedians are hyper aware of other people, and they're hyper aware of themselves. That's where the material comes from. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, it's not like they're doing it unknowingly. I'm just. I, I'm not. I, I, I sound like I'm all for rape jokes. I'm not. No, I, I'm I, just, no, no. you know, I, know I, I just don't think, I think that they can play an important role in society. That's all I'm trying to say. And I want to say this, like, very bluntly. This is coming from somebody who has been sexually assaulted, you know? So it's not like I ha- I, I, I've been there. I know what it's mm-hmm. like, you know? Um, yeah, not not I mean, to say, like, I can, I can you I know, relate to every woman, but, you know. No, yeah. yeah, it's why well, it's different for everyone. You yeah, know, everyone yeah. processes it differently, and some people are okay talking about it or listening to jokes or whatever, but, but I'm, some I'm, people don't ever, can't ever see it because it just... Yeah, no, and, and really I, I completely understand that, and I sympathize for that, you know. Um, but I've always been one that I like to confront everything. Um, everything in my life I like to confront. I like when people confront me. You know, if I fucked up, confront me on it. You know, I I actually like that. You know, yeah. 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 that's a personal thing. That's maybe why I'm okay with it because yeah, I like to be confronted. That's maybe why I'm not okay because I'm you actually don't like the it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally understand that. Well, but I, I think, think I think that, that was, was the biggest, biggest thing because, because uh, like, like if, if you were to take that and turn it into an aristocrat's joke, joke where, where you're, you're sucking, sucking and fucking, and then somebody grabs the dog and rapes the dog or whatever yeah yeah like that i think i mean so let's be honest did you you saw the aristocrats yeah Yeah. did you laugh at it because i mean that included rape and that included incest that included bestiality and scat and that's That's what i'm saying i think it's the context context too too. yeah okay i mean it's a it's a complicated issue but um (sighs) i i think that what needs to be confronted more than the actual joke itself is the idea of uh, the silence and patriarchy. Because I think that's where most of it comes from. Is that, you know, like, is it is it different to hear a woman joke about rape than a, a male to joke about rape? I mean, I guess for a lot of people... I think it is. is I mean, I think it is. I, I think it is way different, you know? Different. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, so, I, I mean, maybe a lot of, of course, it just because, comes from you know, that patriarchal stance. People think, when people think about rape, they mostly think about women getting raped. Yeah, and... mm-hmm. Is but it? men get raped a lot, mm-hmm. and it's very a, 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 a lot thing, more than people, people realize. Don't talk about it as mm-hmm. much. You know? Is it different for a middle class white male to joke about race than it is for a Irish black male? Of course, yeah. yeah. They're coming from different stances and different, yeah. you know. Yeah, but I still think both should be able to from their perspective, well, because I think both can bring important parts to the discussion. You know, like if if a, if a middle I don't even want to say middle class if it, if like Louis C.K. joking about being a white male and how fucking great it is that, to be a white male. It was hilarious. hilarious. It's because, hilarious because he's pointing out a truth in society that people and, don't talk about. And he followed it up with, 
man, man I wouldn't want to go into the fucking, fucking future. future. Because we have our shit coming to us. Yeah. 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 It, and so, like, I think that's appropriate for a, a situation like him to talk about race, mm-hmm. you know. Um, and, and that's why, like, you know, I, I, I find sometimes offensive comedy refreshing because it is but confronting social norms like that you confronted. It's very sarcastic, uh-huh. so you can tell, and it's like. And I'm, know, a, I'm an extremely it seems sarcastic like the person, person. But sometimes it seems like the person is, is actually meaning it. You know well, what I mean? Well, I think sometimes they're I, trying to offend. That's, that's why, why yeah. I think... Yeah, you, you know, have, I agree. Some of them are. You have, you have to, really to really look, look, look at the context, context behind the joke. If, if, if the, the joke, joke that they're, they're telling is intent is to hurt somebody because of race or because of whatever, I don't think that... See, like, there's a fine difference between joking about racism and racism. Yeah, yeah. There, I think mean, there's a big difference between the two. Yeah. Uh, you know, one is confronting, and one is uh, putting yeah. down. Oh, I, what am I trying to? Sorry, one is upholding and, and you know, oppressing people. And I think mm-hmm. rape jokes can go both ways too. And that's, like, and that's, and that's like, like, what, what I mean by context. context. But I think I think, I think so many people important. hear a rape joke and they instantly jump to, you know, the opposite. But I've I've never heard a rape joke where it's being serious of like pro rape. I've heard way more jokes that are way more misogynistic that everyone thinks are okay, you yeah. know, and, you know. I agree with that. But, it's true. But I, 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 I can come off abrasive sometimes because I'm extremely sarcastic and I like to make people feel uncomfortable. <laughs> I think, and, um, I, I think it's just dealing, dealing with the issue of, like, survivors and stuff, and stuff like that. that. I just don't, don't want somebody to have to relive something. something. Mm-hmm. And, that's and that's my ultimate, ultimate thing. thing. And, and do, and do I have an answer, answer to that? that? No, I don't, because I don't agree in censorship. censorship. You know, the hard thing about that, though, is just like what I was saying, is that sexual assault is a crime of silence. And, you know, um, as soon as people start openly talking about it, it, it better it is for everyone in society. Yeah. yeah. You know, and it sucks for those people that are victims, you know. But, you know, you got to make, you got to make it, you got to make the victims feel comfortable to come forward. Mm-hmm. You know, and... uh that's 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 what I'm saying, and that's I don't even know what else to say about that because I think that's the most important thing. Yeah. yeah. Whatever whatever will help a victim come forward should be done. Yeah, yeah and I think I think if if, if it, it isn't a silent thing, thing and it is talked, talked about more, then it's definitely something, something that would be easier for, for someone who survived it to mm-hmm. come out. And, and they they've proven that 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 the more openly sexual assault is reported and talked about, the lower the instances occur. So I mean, it, it's strictly a crime of silence. So in that aspect, that's why I almost think it's good for people to joke about it because it makes it not silent anymore. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's complicated. It is but... very complicated. It is very, very complicated. Um, but then again, not everything's for everyone. That's you know? true. Yeah. Yeah, I think I made you feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry, Mari. No, it's fine. Besides <laughs> <laughs> um, that, that, I don't think... think I think... I think... We talked, talked about, about police, police one time and whether or not oh, what, yeah. should, what should be. I mean, I mean this is something that even anarchists like, like always disagree about. Like when, when you should call when police. is the right time to call police. Like yeah. yeah, if you see I don't know your neighbor um, hitting their wife, mm-hmm. like what do you do? You know, it, it's hard because of the way our society is currently structured. It's not set up to um allow people to not use the current power structures Mm -hmm. you know and that's where it becomes very complicated and so my personal stance and people might have a different stance in this including i'm pretty sure jordan does is that where violence is concerned it should be reported that's my that's just my my stance so if there's violence against a child it should be reported because in our current society, I don't have enough power to be able to ha- to take that child away that's without using was, the current that's power what structure. We were talking about now, this. in my actual ideal society, we would share that power, so I would be able to confront, be able to confront that, and yeah. I, I think that would be. But right now, it's but not right possible. now we don't we don't and have like, that shared with power with a murder. If you are a witness or mm-hmm. something, and there's no other way to solve that or something like that, like. How, do you say something? Do you say, yeah, I saw this person doing this? or Yeah. Like, you but know. that being said, if it is not an, an actual violence nature, I'm completely silent. Mm-hmm. If, if I, I see, see somebody, somebody shoplifting in the store, store, I don't give a fuck. Their fucking business. Business. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know about that. 
I, I, it's I not, honestly, it's, it's, it's not, not my if, if it's not if it's not like it, 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 someone in, in imminent danger, I I don't fucking care. It's none of my business. Because I, I feel that's I mean, between that individual and their their the power structure, the beef. Like, like what what, what, what are instances, instances like, like because it's, like, like if, if I somebody's stealing, stealing I'm, not I'm not gonna snitch, snitch them out. out. You know, mm-hmm. if I saw somebody. somebody Beating, beating the, the shit, shit out of a, another person. person. I don't know. It depends, depends on the situation. situation. See, that's where I don't. No, if I saw someone literally beating the shit out of somebody, yeah, yes, the other I would try was... to okay, stop like, that immediate beating. Yeah, and maybe like when we were talking about it too, is because of the cultural differences. Uh huh. Because, like, for me, I'm really scared of people. <laughs> like, because it, there it's like. You hear a lot, like, all the time that, I don't know, you you say something to someone, like, hey, stop doing that or whatever, and they take out a gun and kill them, or they take out a knife and kill them. And so it's like, you don't know, like, you can't even say anything to anyone anymore because you don't know if they're crazy and they're going to kill you. Yeah, so and so, so in, that, in that society, the power, you know, lies strictly with the, the authoritarian state. Yeah. You know, and that's unfortunate. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, we're not too much different here. I mean, let's be honest. No. Yeah, like, I don't know. Like, I, people have tried to steal from me recently, and so I'm like, why, like, I want, if I could, I would, like, beat the shit out of the person. Mm Because, like, why are you trying to steal from me? Like, it makes me mad. (laughs) And so, um, like, I do not feel okay with that people being around trying to, do that to people like he had a knife and so like he can hurt people you know? I, I was mugged by like a preteen kid once in san francisco like I, yeah pre-teen. like how with do a, with you a knife. how can you be okay with that people just being <laughs> around that could hurt someone you know that makes me mad i didn't turn them in i didn't even call the police yeah yeah i gave him my wallet and then i said fuck how am i gonna get home i was poor Oh, it was the poorest I've ever been in my life, and I got mugged. Was a pre kid? kid? I might have been like, like dude. dude. It was like three kids with knives. Dude, dude just, just take, take the cash. The cash. <laughs> Can, I Can I at least, least have, have my ID? ID? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you, you can, can reason with, with some, some of them. them. So I slept in a parking lot that night. So, <laughs> so, so, <laughs> so if, and if the I, other thing is, but but here's the thing: like, look at me. I'm fine, you know. Yeah. And so I kind of look at those situations and just be like, well. You know, uh, it's not... If, if... Yeah, but that's what I'm going to say. Like, even if I said something to the police, they probably wouldn't do anything. Yeah. That's the thing. Too. And that's, yeah. that's another issue you have to look at. at. Like, what, what is it that they're really going to be able to do in a, in a lot of circumstances? circumstances there's nothing. nothing. Yeah, like, so in, in things like that, like, obviously I'm not going to say anything, like, because I don't think they're going to do anything. But <clears throat> in other things that are more like you said, like, violent things or whatever, I do think like, you yeah, have yeah, to... You can save somebody's somebody life by having to call authority. authority. I'm going to call that authority. Split I think that it mainly, like I said, it comes to eminent threat, uh-huh. you know. Yeah. Especially children. And, like, for you know, example, yeah, too, I doubt. am against, like, prisons, you know, but oh, sometimes yeah, yeah. I see people and I'm like, I wish they spend their whole well, lives in prison. Let me, let me but, be, like, really honest. You know, I am against our current... Uh, prison industrial complex i think it's completely wrong it needs to be revamped. but that being said there are individuals that should not be a part of our society exactly so it's like for example if if someone drunk run over someone you loved wouldn't you want something to be done to that person like you, oh, you know in that pay? instance no i'm just gonna be honest with you like in that that's one of the few things that like you know people make bad decisions and that's just a bad decision and and, and I don't think that prison's going to fix that. Does that make sense? No, prison won't. No. You know, but I mean, I think people who seek out and murder, I think those are different stories. Yeah, it is different, but it's still like they, I just. You know, like, like people that. Like, that, the thing is, like, I know prison like, won't like, change DUI, that, like, but it's like, I want something bad to happen to them too, so like, prison yeah, is bad, I, so. I don't know, I, I mean, maybe I just feel differently about this, but, um. Especially when it comes to someone like like someone killing somebody because they're uh, but you know they they were drunk driving, you know, that person has to live with that the rest of their lives, mm-hmm. you know, not not to say that there shouldn't be some. But believe me, form there's people who don't care. Of, of 
Of course. I mean, that happens. But, you know, it, I don't see prison as a form of stopping the behavior. No. So it, what's the point? To, for them to suffer. But... <laughs> prison prison is such an archaic, archaic thing, too. thing too. It, 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 it really comes from, from like, like it comes Christian, from, uh, a pro, not Protestants, the uh, pu- 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 uh, Puritans. Puritans. Thank you. Sorry. Yeah, the Puritans as a way of becoming peace, one with God. Um, and, and that's why I don't like. You know, I've heard so many stories of people who have killed people by driving, mm-hmm. and I've. The the amount of people that just would that wouldn't affect is such a small amount that I couldn't imagine it. You know, like yeah, I just feel like that almost in of itself is torture enough. Like yeah, you did kill somebody because of your poor mistake. Now, should there be some sort of punishment? I I think that any society should you know discourage that type of behavior. There should you know I don't know how you would want to discourage that type of behavior, but I I. I you know, like maybe have that local bar make a deal if you drink and try. They don't drink anymore, you know, and force sobriety. I mean, I'm not trying to dictate what individual societies do, but there should be, you know, as a society, I think a society has a, has a right to come to a consensus on what should be done to prevent things. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I, I don't think prison's the right answer. No, maybe not. I just talk it from like. I just, I'm so, very, like, revenge of people who hurt others, yeah. you know? See, so, but is, but is, it, is, it, is it hurting, hurting them with, with the intent, intent to hurt them, or if it's just hurting, hurting them in general? general? What do you mean? Like, somebody, somebody, like somebody, somebody who's drunk driving, driving isn't necessarily, necessarily going to They don't have the with, intent. They just, just made a mistake. mistake. They just made a mistake. And we, 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 no, it's not a mistake, because, you know, if you do that, you could that could happen, so you're doing it. Yeah, but we all we all make decisions that could have extremely negative consequences. I'm not, I'm not, I've I'm never not. made a decision where I could kill someone. I bet you have and you just didn't realize it. I haven't. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, any, anything, anything could. I have. I did this week. What? Make poor, poor decisions, decisions all, all the time. time. But oh, now oh, that could kill someone. Opening, opening the back, back of, of that pickup, pickup truck could have totally killed, killed you. you. Or me. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't. It didn't break a toe. It severely bruised when I thought it broke him. It, was, it hurt for a couple of days. Four hundred pounds. Totally. It's not yeah. A good idea. Yeah. It yeah it fucking hurt. Let, let that kind of. But it made it way easier. Did. Yeah. You know, like um, we were missing a car seat, and so I had to drive about a mile with is without a car seat. Oh. It was a decision I made. We, you know, to get from point A to B, we were, I weighed the risks and I did it. I got an accident, it could have killed her. Yeah. You know, that that's what I mean. Like, it, sometimes you just, you, we, we live so close to those type of decisions. Now, someone who has the intent and they seek out little children, I mean, we're going to an extreme here. Mm-hmm. They seek out little children to, you know, uh, sexually abuse and then murder. Those people have no right in our society. Yeah. No well, claim to different. our society. And that's what I'm talking about. Like, that to me is it but you do drugs don't give a fuck you sell drugs don't give a fuck you still don't give a fuck uh what else is there you gonna go to prison for besides murder you know i i don't think little mistakes deserve prison now non i think they maybe should be some form of punitive but you know i don't think prison is the right answer no i don't think money is the right answer either I don't think fines the right no, answer. No, that's not because it allows thing, people of, of higher you know, economic class to get away like, with things. Oh, you pay or you go to jail. Unless so. there there are some countries that do fines based off of, excuse me, on a sliding scale. And um, I'm 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 more okay with those type of fines. Public, public shaming. shaming. I'm all for public shaming, on everything. I think I think it's a good way of keeping people honest and straight and in check. And, you know, I'm okay with it. I don't, I don't see, see much, much of a problem, problem with it. That's why I'm okay with people calling me out on things. Mm-hmm. It helps keep me, like, I'm going to make mistakes, you know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to offend people. I might, you know, uh, act out, you know, in a misogynistic way mm-hmm. uh, unknowingly. And, you know, 
I should be called out on that, yeah, you know, and then then true, I should be course. able to to make the decision to you know change myself and you know keep myself in check or not, you know, and that yeah, you know. All, All I know is that, that if I'm ever mugged, mugged I hope that I'm with someone else that I owe a fine to or a debt to, to. and then I can just look next to him and be like, like, "Oh, here's the fifty bucks I owe you." I didn't understand anything you said because there's so much echo. Pretty, Pretty much, much. I'm, just I'm just an asshole. asshole. Okay. <laughs> I read that in debt, just by the way. That was like in the first couple of pages. I don't remember that part in debt. It talks about an old uh, act that people used to do where it doesn't really matter if somebody's requesting the debt. You know, or the, not the debt, but like, say a loan. Say like a gangster said, I need... Say, say a gangster came, came up to you and took a thousand dollars from you. Is it, is it any different, different if they come up and take it from you, from you or come up with a knife and say that they need to take a loan out for a thousand dollars? And so it was as an act based off of that kind of. So, uh, Jordan, how was your poop? It was, it was all right. <laughs> I, I totally forgot what we were talking about because you took such a long dookie. That's not true. Who calls it dookie anymore? Just you, because you're a dangus. Jesus Christ, I call it a dookie. Because <laughs> you're old, Jeremy. A th- Green Day. Yeah. What a, Green Day what a dingus. Is that like dingus? their first album? Uh, fuck no. Only, uh, I was going to say some bad words. Only really dumb people think that's their first album. Oh, Speak, speaking okay, of Green Jeremy, Day. Jeremy, thank you. <laughs> you're so nice to me. They had two albums before that. Okay. S- I didn't know Ker- you were a fan. I was a huge fan. Uh, they had Kerplunk. And then, oh, yeah, I and then that. what was the other one? Is it, is it 10,000 Smooth Slappy Happy Hours? Something like that? That was like, like all the band. The it was the first, first, first name of name each of song, song on the album. I can't remember. I could be saying the title wrong. Totally. Uh, write me if I am. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. I'm going to be fixing the website soon. I, I, have a, I have the access to all the information in the world at my fingertips, and I'm too lazy to look it up. I, you are I just kind of did a project too. with Green Day. Yeah. Oh, you're bragging now. I know. You didn't really do a project with Green Day. Yeah. No, I mean involving Green Day. You did a project you had to use that they are a part of. Yeah. Yeah. In a roundabout way. Yeah, yeah they, they had, had nothing to do with it. Tell them to fuck talking. off. Sell out piece of shit. Actually, I wouldn't really call them solids at all. They didn't, by they the didn't way. never. Uh, I, don't think I think they get a bad rap. Like, I'm, I'm kind of okay with Green Day. I'm, I'm not okay like a huge you. fan, but I'm okay with them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Like, I, got, I wouldn't pay to see them, but if someone was like, hey, let's go to a green I, No, I would pay. Show. I'd pay to see them. I'd pay $10. I, I was going to say 5 So, <laughs> <laughs> so, so the, the Twilight, Twilight I have a, But I have a really hard time paying more than $5 to see any band. Like, I remember when shows started costing like $7. I'm like, fuck you guys. Well, you wouldn't want to go to the thing that I was in, that I designed the thing. No, for. it was like thousands. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a huge charity it's benefit. A charity thing. benefit. Um, yeah. But yeah, I remember like as soon as like shit started costing real money, like seven. I I remember a show was ten dollars. I think it was All Out War or Earth Crisis, and I'm like, <laughs> but what kind fuck. of band was it though? Earth Crisis. All Out War, <laughs> oh. like, a hardcore band. And I'm like, fuck, ten dollars. I don't know if I want to show. <laughs> I paid ten dollars to band. see Earth Crisis and All Out War. I did. I I actually did pay more than ten dollars last time I saw Earth Crisis. Yeah, yeah, dick. And I had to drive like two hours. I don't like you. You love them. I do love. I love Earth Crisis. I'm not ashamed of that. You're like, yeah. You okay, probably... hold on. Let me see that. I except Slither. I turn myself see, into a monster, a monster to fight, fight against, against the monsters, monsters of, of the world. Boo 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 boo. Yeah, that's. You know, you love it. It's pretty bad. Yeah. You remembered it. Sounds um, really good, boys. The should. <laughs> they did the same thing that VOD did. Like, I really liked VOD, and then they got onto Roadrunner, and the same thing that happened with the Crisis. They got onto Roadrunner, yeah. and it just you turned out shit. Yeah. I'm, I am like, like a, awesome. the worst singer in the world. He didn't sound that bad. Oh God, either. I can't. You should hear him squawk, squawk like a bird. When I can't screams. hold a tune. I can't. I can't even scream right. He's, He's like, like converge a little bit. bit. Like, <laughs> no, like if you if you really want to know what I'm like, like I have a very similar voice to Mike Ski. Would you sing for in me? In Brothers Keeper, Jeremy? no, uh, like <laughs> Brothers Keeper. I, I mean, I like Brothers Keeper. Don't get me wrong, but yeah. it's a very yeah, it's a very. Um, it's just yeah. You say so. 
Yeah. What do you want me to sing? I sing to my daughter all the time. Sing fuck, fuck you. you. Fuck, fuck society too. That's not even really singing though. He's not even screaming. Fuck you. Sing a song fuck that you. Is singable. Whatever comes uh, to your head. The thing I song to my my daughter is my girl. My girl. My girl. Don't lie to me. Tell me where did you sleep last night? You could be in like there you a, go. that kind of band. What kind of band is that? Like a grunge band. A grunge band? That, that sounds grungy to you? Yeah. That's like Lead Belly, man. That's like No, but old... like a Nirvana cover of his song. Well, Nirvana did cover that song, actually. Yeah, that's yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, that that really just makes me feel bad. <laughs> Why? You can sing grunge. You can sound like you're like doing nothing depressed. but depressed cocaine addict. Aww. And you're going to kill yourself in a year. No. Mari likes Morrissey a lot. I like Fuck Nirvana Morrissey. Too. I don't. I, I like Morrissey I like, too. I like Morrissey. No, I mean Nirvana. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wow. Whoa. We have, we have, to we have that uh, part No, out. look, we it's got awesome. that. We got that on <laughs> I'll record. edit that out. No. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. I like, like Morrissey. I, I like. Like, I'll just do a song of you saying that. Um. <laughs> no, I I do like a lot of Nirvana. I do. I do too. Yeah. Yeah. My favorite Nirvana song is uh, Jesus Don't Want Me for a Sunbeam. Yeah? Yeah. You should sing And that's a cover, too, I think. Is it? Yeah. No. Jesus doesn't want me for a it's, it's, I know not it's how not. it goes. I know it's <laughs> not. Um, yeah. But that's, that's what, what I think, think about, about every yeah. time. Yeah. Uh, so, grunge bands. You, you, br- you brought up grunge. Okay. What, well, is I, your, what is your all-time favorite grunge band I that you no hate idea. that you love? I don't know. I don't even know. Like when I think I'm too old for you guys for this. And that's it. There's not a grunge band that you just like. Like you almost cringe that you like them. Name yours. Seven Mary Three. I don't even know that. Uh, I'm just very mainstream. What is it? Uh, They did cumbersome. Oh my god! You guys just make me feel fucking old. Well, you are. Nah, you just listen to shit music. That's true too. I listen to great music. Not really. What like, do I listen to? What do you think I listen to all no. the time? Remember when we Little went to people. Moab and you played that horrible song? No. We were like taking turns playing the song we wanted. I probably did something on purpose I knew you'd hate. It was really bad. No, no, no. No, no, no it, it was, was that, that girl, girl. That girl that, that uh, used that, like... You, you think, think that everyone sounds, sounds like the girl, girl on... Uh, what was, was it Victory? Victory? Yeah. Yeah, yeah what, what was it again? Uh, one that was probably uh, sleeping with the guy. What? Uh, fuck! Now I forgot their name. <laughs> yeah, they're on Victory. Yeah, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah she's, she's terrible, terrible, and she, she sounds, sounds like no one you think she sounds like. like. Oh, oh, that, that band, band has a girl, girl in it. It sounds, sounds like, like this girl. girl. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> who did I? Who did I make you listen to? I think, think that. that. No, I don't even have that. I think, I think we found, found on YouTube. YouTube. I yeah. might have found it on YouTube. And and it I might have been doing it just as like, like this is listen and to then, fucking this. And then we started. Then, then we started, started listening to other songs. songs that that's nothing I like, though. I mean, it's disgusting. I can't even remember the name of that band. Well, now your reputation is not good. Okay, so what what else do you think I like? Well, I don't know. You what do you think like... I listen to? Like, what do you think the like what genre of music do I listen to the most right now? Right this second. I don't know. Last time, like one of your last tweets that I've read from you is you were listening to Earth Crisis. And yeah. You always mention them. I listen so to Earth Crisis at work a lot, like I I'm getting tired or that stressed. That I, kind of hardcore music. Uh, I would say you're listening to like little people. Mm, I only listen to like, I listen to a lot like that, but I listen to that mainly to get music for the podcast. Me too. Yeah. Uh, but the, the, what I'm listening to the most. I work with it too. Yeah, it's it's good like background music. Like when um, I'm doing design aircraft. Yeah. Um my what I listen to the most right now is my Tom Waits Pandora station. So it's a lot of folk, bluegrass, um instrumental world like music like that. That's like what the vast majority of what I'm listening to. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ugh. Lots of banjos and tubas. Fucking love it. I like that. That's like cool. um Hawk with a ha- Hawk with a hacksaw. Fucking love those guys. Yeah, oh, that was pretty good. And then um, Andrew Bird's Bowl of Fire. Um, I'm fucking in love with him right now. Yeah, I've never heard. He was in Squirrel Nut Zippers, which I'm not a fan of Squirrel Nut Zippers. You you shouldn't be a fan of them either. 
but um andrew bird's uh, bowl of fires they're like, fucking amazing I like, like lean that dishwasher you, i think jordan would actually like them a lot who's, who's that? that andrew bird's bowl of fire i'll have to check it out yeah um i fell into andrew's bowl of fire so no, what do fine. you listen to jordan what do oh, I, listen I listen to what do you think i listen to, to? x96 yeah, yeah if i don't have anything else to listen to <laughs> <laughs> i don't know um okay so you don't know a grunge band that you you hate that you love uh what's a band just a, a band that you you hate that you actually love them like you're almost embarrassed to tell people i'm not ever embarrassed to tell people i don't care what they think but um I there guess... has to be one that you kind of keep secret one um... direction no, I don't like them, but um Justin Bieber. It's uh when I was like a kid. Um uh, Club 7. Who? S Club 7. Never heard of them. It's like a UK band. Okay. Like a pop band. I still like them. Like I would still listen to them. Like a Brit pop band. Name. Yeah. Okay. Um uh, That's pretty good. I don't listen to them so right one now. Direction. Right? If, it's if yeah, I mean that's them. all I hear is one direction when one you say direction. that. No, I was right. The first I was time. always embarrassed. Yeah, it's not I... a boy band. It's like boys and girls. So. <laughs> it's boy... Ooh, it's co-ed. Ooh. Yeah. Um, I was always embarrassed that I liked Weezer. I've always loved Weezer, and like when they were actually like releasing their major stuff. No, Rebedil. What? Well, people make fun of me a lot because I love Bling One Eighty Two. So I guess that yeah. w- okay. I, would, I should be embarrassed, but I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Like well, I love them. What about you, Jordan? You can say any ska shit that you listen to. You should be embarrassed of all that shit. I'm not embarrassed by anything. <laughs> I like music. I don't give a fuck. I'm to that point now. Like that's why I can openly talk about it. Um, fuck One Direction, Justin Bieber, Taylor Swift, Selena, Selena Gomez. Just pop in general. Yeah, no. Totes. Are you really a big pop fan? I all listen to pop. You, you, he loves like the the songs that are like I'll listen, listen to popular songs. songs. They're yeah, fucking they're catchy for a reason. Songs. You know, like I I always feel like I did myself a huge disservice by hiding that and not like really exploring it when I was a lot younger. You know, because yeah. it I, it took me so long to really embrace music for music. You know, and just because someone is big and popular, there might be a reason they're big and popular. Yeah, nothing that everyone they, is. Like, they... but, like when I was a teenager, I was embarrassed to like it. But yeah, then, yeah. But I still listen to it, and now I don't care. You know, what? like I. Weezer was my first really big one like that. Well, like, Weezer's I, great. Weezer is fucking amazing. There's, like, there's no denying how great. Weezer yeah, but, is, but when when I was just, like strictly coming from the punk hardcore scene, yeah. you know, it was like, well, they're not fucking punk. Blah blah blah. People think yeah. they're. Punk. I'm like, well, I know they're not fucking punk. I still, yeah. I mean, whatever. You know, yeah, the sweater song's for, an amazing for song. Example, yeah. You know, me like I. The bands I like, I thought, like, I was really different from everyone else. But if I lived here and I was like, I like these bands, there would be like, those are mainstream. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But when I like them, where I live, no one else knew about them. So it's different. I don't know. What One One thing thing that I I noticed noticed is is, um, this this new new song just came on the radio radio recently. And it 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 was was Lord. It was Royals. Royals. And And so so it... Played the first time, and I'm like, that's kind of a, 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 a song. It's terrible. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. It, it wasn't a good song, and so I was like, all right, whatever. I don't know what song you're talking about. Um, it's, it's like, there's like, never be royals. Okay, I know the song. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, it played, the, it played that one time, and I'm like, eh, this is kind of... I don't, don't like, like it, it but whatever. And, and then they, they kept, kept playing, playing it and playing it and playing it, and, playing it, and, and it fucking started getting stuck, stuck in my head, head and then I couldn't get, get it out of my head. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, the radio's doing its job, and so then I start seeking it out. Sometimes <laughs> you, you send me songs, and I'm like, I don't like this song, and then I hear it like a bunch of times, and then I start liking it. You want, that, that happened with me, Macklemore. First time I heard Macklemore. Macklemore's great. I'm like, this is fucking shit. This is goddamn terrible. And I was like, this is so bad. And I loved it. I loved it the first time I heard it. I fucking hate Like, I remember (laughs) Kyle was like, hey, you should check this out, you know? And I'm like, this is the worst fucking thing I've heard. Exactly the same way. And then I heard the one about, you know. Same love? Yeah. And then it really, like, I need to give this guy a second chance. And, like, really, yeah, you know, decent artist, you know? For me. Like, I, I mean, I've heard Morrissey so much in my life, though. Like, you, you, you got to realize how great it is for, for like, like a straight, straight white male to be in that singing culture. in a culture, in a hip hop culture, hip hop culture yeah. about 
things like yeah being, being thrifty, thrifty yeah. even not, not just like homosexuality but the fact of you don't have to live luxurious you can fucking no no get shit from a thrift shop i totally agree you know it's a fun song but still you know um that's the only reason i ever listened to dead press dead press is great you know it was the first it's the old like the first hip-hop i ever got into yeah. yeah, yeah, they are. Be healthy, healthy y'all. y'all. That's the funniest song in the world. <laughs> it's, I don't know. I like that. I like no that. Devil, song. No sweets. But, but it's, it's funny. Vegetables, <laughs> fresh fruit, and whole wheat. When, when I, I saw M1 from the old school. When, when, I, I, when I saw M1 talk, talk he was it was, it was so like radical and militant. It was so funny. It's like fuck Whitey, kill Whitey, fuck blah blah. And it was like yeah, and like everyone in the front row was all just white middle class. Anarchist kids. kids. Yeah, but they, when when they, when they say the term "white," they're not meaning. Oh, I know. Yeah, it, I, I know. know. Uh, it was it was, it was a funny experience. experience. Yeah, it was all because, because I would have liked. Un- it. I wish I could have got the it. uncomfortable, ex- the uncomfortable looks from privileged white kids who just got, got into the radical scene, not understanding, understanding that the term "whitey" isn't. Yeah, yeah. To be used in that sense, you know. Mm-hmm. It, it just means people like Mari. Like my dad. Yeah. Just kidding, my dad really is not like privileged <laughs> in, in that sense. No. Oh, another one I should be it's embarrassed. It's the man. Taylor yeah. Swift. You should be embarrassed. Taylor Swift's a very She's talented. talented. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, okay, yeah, she is. <laughs> See, that's why I like her too, because she writes her songs, not like the other. You know, I do give her you credit for that. To me. Like, you know, she does write her songs. And but they're they all are, about they're love all, and breakup. They're all kind of shitty. They're all and about they're kind all, of the same thing. Because she could make yeah. so much more money if she had better songs, like better writing. No, songs. I think I think her songs hit but the demographic that, she's looking that? for. That's what? true. Breakup yeah. songs and love that's, songs. That's true. That's all she sings about. I liked her more before. I want her to write the song about the first time she tried anal sex. <laughs> I just want to see like her take what on it. What if she never did? Well, then she needs to experience it and write a song. I think it's funny how... Like, I just want to know, like, even if it's a negative, like, it really hurt, I didn't use enough lube, you know, whatever, <laughs> you know. It stung. Um, <laughs> <laughs> play a hard G. <laughs> it stung. Um, no. <laughs> but... <laughs> I think... I lost my train of thought. It doesn't matter. Swift. Yeah. Um, I, th- I think it's really odd. A lot of people, like, look at Taylor Swift... Um, and see her as like this innocent girl, um, and then they give Miley Cyrus like a really hard time. I really like what Miley Cyrus is doing now, and yeah. not like I like, but, okay. not like I'm a fan yeah, of it, but I'm a fan up. that she's embracing herself and saying I'm going for this because of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she can do whatever, but um, like that song that we can't stop or whatever it took five people uh, to write that song. One below. Do we? Did we do that one already? Yeah. Yeah. Then one above. Yeah, that's it. That's a that's a survey, it's not a poll. Oh, okay. I didn't quality, do it. Quality time. Yeah, sorry. Well, that's very even. Uh, burp. But anyways, what I was saying with No, I was saying it took five people to write that song. Five. See that she can do that because she didn't she's gonna even participate in writing it. Like that's why I don't understand. If you're a famous singer, you should at least want to participate in writing your song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not paying attention. I was no, totally sorry, paying attention. Sorry, I was reading. No, I the think poll results. I think it's really awk. Like I don't know. It's if you're not a talented songwriter, but you're a talented singer. And someone wants to write a song for you. I'm no, cool with that. I'm yeah, okay yeah, with that. Fine, it's just like comedy. Like, it's but I, I never write a song like be participate at least like be like hey I want to like I want you to help me write about this or this or this. Yeah, I think or this and this. I think, I think that think of, you know, like, they should. I think that if if they get to the point where you know they're releasing things and calling it their own, um, they should be to the point where it's like yeah I want really want to I, mean. like, I really want to write a song about. That but I think to. I feel like an artist doing that is no different than like John Stewart. Like, John Stewart, I think everyone knows and recognizes he doesn't write all of his own stuff. He oversees no. it because he has all the control over it. Yeah. I think, like, an artist... But they can the deliver. Way. Like, comedians that can deliver. They can deliver. Mm-hmm. And, then you know, and it's not write. to say that they don't have overall control, because they do. Yeah, totally. You know? And they're not just, you know, puppets. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I think that's what... It's fine for artists to be that way. Oh, it's fine yeah. to, no, to it take fine. take control of that, because you are the end control. It's no different than, like, Andy Warhol having the farm. 
where most of Andy Warhol's work he didn't do. Mm-hmm. Like the vast, vast majority of it. Oh, he Mr. just signed Brian off Walsh. on it. Mm-hmm. You know. Mr. Brian Walsh. Yeah, I mean, it, it's really true. Like, that's the I love and hate Andy Warhol for that reason because I, I'm not a fan of the artwork that he I produced. Am not either. But I love the fact that he made art for the masses, and he made people realize that he was contradicting himself, though. I, yeah, totally. A lot, and that, ugh, I don't like him. But yeah, I, I, I like it. I like the it's idea that he poppy. took art away from the extremely oh, yeah. privileged. That part. Yeah. That's what I really like. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Well, let's talk John about Zierzan that. hates him because I... art in general is wrong. Fuck you, John Zierzan. And John Zierzan also thinks that time is stupid. Yeah. Time? Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. John Zierzan. He's an extreme primitivist. I don't know. I don't really talk to a lot of people that actually find a lot of common ground with him. I have. But I... you didn't talk to people 12 years ago about yeah. it. Yeah. I That's mean, when he was like at his height. Recently, I talked to somebody and they're like, "Yeah, I like some of his ideas." And I'm like, "Why?" But they were more on the primitive aspect like, of things. What you like the idea of no hierarchy? Woo! I'm right there with him too. Yeah, but I mean, and actually, I'm not. I'm right there for no hierarchical uh, power st- structures. But hierarchy in general isn't a negative. No. If that makes sense. Yeah, it's like you mean like some situations you need like a leader or a person who's and like, I'm, I'm okay like yeah, as, as long as everyone can sense it yeah i think yeah. i think sometimes as a group if you can if the consensus is that somebody take the lead on something mm-hmm. then that's it's the group's like a part, it's then that's the group's like choice job, yeah i mean like the group a... is still sharing power so as long as yeah. you know i think hi- a hierarchical organization can work with shared power mm-hmm. i don't think it's right when there isn't and that's what governments are governments are non shared mm-hmm. Power hierarchical organizations. So true. Well, talk no. about but, that. Well, but like really, that really, I don't know anything about anarchism according to Reddit. You so, don't. I mean, whatever. I have a black flag. <laughs> do you really? Well, actually, we bought it for the podcast. The podcast owns a black flag, and you have those little pins. In I there. do have an. Look, this is what's funny. Like, I have an anarcho syndicalist pin and a green anarchist mm-hmm. pin. Yeah. Even though I don't really identify with green anarchism. But that's like my me saying I'm a vegan anarchist. Mm, okay. Oh, uh, but no. But I think you I think green. Be on the I no, I think green and, and black is pretty synonymous with both. It's both. It's yeah. vegan. Yeah. Vegan yeah. anarchist. Because like you were saying, but I'm the way more before factory farming and stuff. It all has to do with the environment too. So. It does totally. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I just I'm, made up a word a second ago. But see I'm, if you can I, find it. I am way more of an environmentalist than. <laughs> You're so random not. sometimes. <laughs> okay, did. so I just realized it right now. What, what word did you make up? You'll have to find out by listening. Fuck you. Yeah, I don't listen to this shit. I know, but whoever it is, they'll be like, "What the fuck did he say?" And go back, and then we get. No, they're not. No, they're not. <laughs> hey, Martin, go back and find out what he said and send us a note. Martin won't. Martin, Martin, you will. You you pull this one together for us. <laughs> Thanks, Martin, the intern. Okay. I like that name. You don't like that name? I said I like that name. Oh, you do like the I name do. Martin the Intern? I love the name Martin the Intern. I wish my name was Martin the Intern. I just think of Marty McFly. <laughs> I think of my dog. Because <laughs> that's my dog's name. Martin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, favorite veggies. Should we start with the veggies or the others? Let's start with the others. Let's start with the others. So there was, how many others were there? Ten, Ten others. Ten others. Okay. Pizza. I find this humorous <laughs> because there was actually a school uh, that declared pizza that. a vegetable because of the tomato sauce. Mm-hmm. Awesome. So whoever did that, kudos, kudos to you. Kudos to you on that one. Uh, French fries? Yeah. Well, potato. We got, so, I mean, we got a couple. We got three kels. No, we got kel. 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 <laughs> and kel. Your dick. I wonder if that means Jordan's dick or Jeremy's dick. Your dick. Your dick. Probably my dick. I mean, come on. <laughs> Someone wrote asparagus. I I love, I love asparagus, asparagus too. I so love asparagus. Me too. I love it. Now that being said, I hate the way my mother-in-law prepares asparagus. Oh, George just got like a dead man <laughs> look. <laughs> so I snorted. I've never. He's like, That's my fucking mom. I've never tried it. From she her, burns that. She she we made some. She cooks it. Too, it. She she does. She, she cooks. She it. bakes it until it's fucking crisp. Oh, I don't like, like we taught her we taught her how to char yeah. brussels right mm-hmm. and she thinks you can do the same with, with asparagus everything. No. and you fucking cannot it's it's edible 
No, it's sometimes. not. You have, to, you have to pick the black off of it. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> She's like, look how small they got. I'm like, oh my god. You, you cooked like all these nutrients out of it. Well, Anyways, Jordan, I, love, I love asparagus though. I do too. That's okay. So, yeah. Karen, Let's... if you're listening, sugar thank you. Snap peas. <laughs> sugar, sugar snap, snap peas. peas? I love sugar peas. So I don't good. Know what those snap are peas. even. They're just, they're just peas you eat them in the pod. pod. They're kind of sweet. Oh. Yeah. And your mom's Remember vagina. The snap- I wonder if that means Jeremy's mom or Jordan's mom. Um, well, Jordan's mom is way more doable than my mom. Yeah. Just saying. More of a milf. Gilf. <laughs> my mom got offended that you said that. Did she? She should not be offended that I called her a gilf. She is. She says it's not respectful. Oh, well, I'm not respectful. She should know that by yeah. now. She, well, she asked me what a what a gilf was. I told her right then. Well, that she had she to. Said, this is, okay. She had to verify with me. Okay, so let's. But I call it a G. Okay, what's your version? Okay, Jeremy? The, the, she she came up and she was wearing her new workout outfit, like really tight, like yoga running pants, like spandex, and like this really tight shirt. And she's like, <laughs> "Do you like my new outfit?" I'm like, "Yeah, you're such a gilf." And she just like, what, what's a gilf? I'm like, it's a milf, but with a grandma. And she's like, oh. And walked away. <laughs> I'm like, okay. I was trying to say it's cute. But well, yeah, I trying to be like, funny she, about it. Like, she she well, takes yeah, it as, you, she takes it as literally grandmother I'd like to fuck. So she thinks that you want to <laughs> fuck her. And that's. Uh, that's a compliment. I'm just kidding. And she's, that's my, that's my daughter's husband. Did she say that? Yes. Did she really? Yeah. She not get like it's not literal. No, I said I said he was just saying that you looked good. <laughs> I tried to explain it. Should whatever. I should I uh, bring it up next time and make her even more uncomfortable? Yeah. No. No, just show her porn on your phone. I de- <laughs> hold on. Okay, you can't just say that What's and ex- not explain the entire story. But wait. Oh, I can. Was yeah. uh, Pearl offended? Okay. So, after I don't know. She didn't seem offended. Did she no, say anything? She didn't care. Okay, she... so like this is the instance. Like I like to make people feel uncomfortable. So if people give me an opening, it's gonna happen. Like just every fucking time. Like if someone's like, "Oh, you should do this," and I know you really are gonna make you uncomfortable, I'm gonna fucking do it. Like that's just it, you know. Um, like I made your sister feel uncomfortable. Not my wife. Your your other sister. Which one? Because Stacey. Stacey? Yeah, yeah, because they were talking about. Um, having uh, a gay part, like a gay roommate in college. Oh, so Heidi? No, no, Stacy. Yeah. Okay. Just listen, and, and you know, I'm like, whatever, it's fine. You know, I think people should experiment. I think it's it's great for everyone to, you know. And she's like, well, have you? You've never kissed her. I'm like, I've kissed several guys. <laughs> you know, just and she's got really uncomfortable with that. Like, if you're gonna, you know, I would kiss a guy in front of her just to make her feel uncomfortable. Yeah. But um. But we were we were at dinner at your with your family, okay. And your grandpa, your grandma was there. And afterwards, uh, we were talking, and she was talking. We're talking about um, uh, porn came up because of a conversation about porn someone hiding. Porn always comes up. It really does. <laughs> no, well, she, right? she was talking about um, how... someone hiding porn in their basement or something. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was there was some drama in my family. Uh, some rumors being spread that weren't true because I have some ill family members anyway it, it doesn't, doesn't matter yeah bad family members anyways it, it, this was coming up and i'm and they were like oh so and so has porn in their basement i'm like why in their basement don't they have the internet i just get my porn on the internet yeah you know like yeah. it it do understand like her her his grandma talks very openly about sexuality usually yeah uh, she's, she's very she's funny promiscuous. she's funny about it so this is not like an she's un- very promiscuous about her conversation oh. her, her conversation is very promiscuous <laughs> Well, and, we don't know um, about much of her past. <laughs> um, she, and she is very like my one of my first memories I have of her. Talking she's about not working, working on the docks. docks. No, no. We when when I first got got married um, to to Cal, we were, she was in the hospital for some reason. Yeah, I can't remember why she's in the hospital. We went to visit her, and she's like, "Oh, you know, I have this really cute male nurse." Blah blah blah. He has to give me a sponge bath. Wait, watch this. It's her called nurse button. This guy her young 20s comes in and she said oh i'm ready for my sponge bath again and he just rolled his eyes and walked out right like she, she's funny about like yeah. she she confronts that sexuality all the time so she's funny about it and um we were talking 
And she's like, what? You get porn on the internet? I'm like, yeah, you can get anything on the internet. And she's like, well, I've never actually seen a porn before. I'm like, do you want to see a porn? You know, I could show one to you. You're, mm. you're in your fucking 90s. You should, you know, yeah. if you want to see one, you should see one. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, well, I don't really want to see them like doing it, but I've never seen like a picture of a naked guy. It's a lie. You know she has. <laughs> yeah, I know she has. You know, <laughs> I'm like, well, do you want to see a picture of a naked guy? So that meant she wanted to see one. Yeah. And she goes, yeah. Do you have one? I go, yeah, I got the internet on my phone. I can find one for you. And she's like, okay. And you had to go to like a, a, a fuck yeah, yeah Tumblr. Tumblr. So I went to a Tumblr. It was like like a hot guys of Tumblr or something like that. Yeah. And I showed her two pictures of guys. She's like, oh, they all look the same. I'm like, okay, yeah, pretty much. And that was it. She, she said, I don't want to see that. that. And then they once all again, look the same. yeah. <laughs> and then she puts the phone down. She goes, was that a picture of you? And I wish I could have said <laughs> yes, because fuck that guy was like hung like a yeah. horse and like a monster. <laughs> he, he was a porn star. He put me to shame, but that's of for course. sure. But then you know she was fine with it, and then her his her daughter Jordan's mom was quite offended that I showed her mom porn. <laughs> and she said, "Why did you let him show you?" And I wouldn't even classify it as porn. It was just a guy standing there with it was a, a guy a semi hard on. It yeah. is porn. He, he was at half mast. Yeah, he was at half mast. Yeah, not really porn. No, it wasn't. It's it was. Porn, it was a dude. nude, just a nude guy. guy. Like there was no sexual act in it whatsoever. Okay. It was as porn as a Playboy. Soft porn. No, it was no, not, not even no. a Playboy. It was a Playboy. It was a porn as like porn as somebody Sports Illustrated. With a guy with a schlong hanging out. Yeah. You know, okay. At half mast. Half masty. Yeah. I mean, something you wouldn't get like on some TV, like Bruno. I've seen worse on Bruno, and that's not considered porn. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't even know why we got... Okay, vegetables. <laughs> Mom's vagina. Oh, yeah. Got, got eggplant, and... I love eggplant. I, lo- I like it sometimes. I like pizza. Yeah, too. eggplant, you really... If you don't eat cooked right, if it's not yeah. you know, done right, it's really gross. I, I still can't, can't eat it. it. We, we had some the other day that I thought was fine, why but Callie you? hated. I, I just... Ever, Ever since, since I we have a ate... eggplant story. Well, well I, I mean, mean it's, it's not, not that entertaining. entertaining. I think we had eggplant here one time. It was like you, you were fr- sick. Yeah, you fried it on both sides. It was like eggplant, parmesan, vegan yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. And that night I had the flu, and so he threw it up. Threw it up, and I just can't do oh, eggplant. Yeah. Now. My my favorite that. dish is eggplant. It's uh, bingham barta. Oh really? Uh, it's an Indian dish. It's That's roasted. like the eggplant. only thing I can really have eggplant in right now. I love it. I also love. Uh, eggplant pakoras. Have you tasted that? Um, it's like um, like hummus, but with eggplant. No. I don't know how to call it. No, no, no. It's I've like never a... heard of it. That sounds, sounds almost like, like bang and bark. Bang and bark, bang bark is, is pretty smooth. smooth. It, it, it look. I mean, bang and bark. It looks like baby vomit or baby diarrhea. Yeah. It's so weird. The first time I had it, I'm like, ugh. What the fuck did it's I order? Called, like yeah. baba ganoush or something. Baba, like ganoush. baba ganoush. I've never actually had it. No. No. I haven't. Oh, uh, but speaking of this poll, Jordan, um, my mom has beets for you, so you can make your borscht. Yum. Yeah, anyways. Borscht. Um, potato is number one. Yeah, potato got 13% of the vote. No one else eats fucking, fucking beets but me. You know. Um, I love potatoes. They're my favorite. I voted for them. You voted for potatoes? You're mm-hmm. absolutely. I think they're a good staple, but I wouldn't class them my favorite. What came in second is my favorite, and I'm going to tell you why it came in favorite, because I cheated. I front loaded oh. this one and I was trying to make it come in first. What? Onions? Yeah. I like onions too. Why are you I'm it just being honest. Be my number one, but I like onions. Onions it's are gross. gross. No, no, no. Onions are amazing. They are. And they're amazing because they're they're like that mystery side vegetable. Like very few mystery? times. Yeah, cuz it's like very few times you just eat like oh, I'm going to eat a fucking onion, you know? Um, I do sometimes. I love onions, but onion they're like, See, that's why I wouldn't say they're my number But this one is why I love I them. Eat an onion. But this is why I love them because they add so much to dishes they that they otherwise that dish would be terrible without. You know, just a little bit of onion adds so much flavor, adds so much texture. True. So you put onions in so many goddamn things. They're like an integral part of my kitchen. Like it's one of those things that I my kitchen is incomplete without at all times. And that's one of the few vegetables. That are like that way. It's mm-hmm. the only thing that I make sure I never run out of. Well, it makes dishes. What was that? It definitely, it definitely makes dishes. It definitely, yeah, that's why I love yeah. it. But, but by itself. So yeah. it, it's, yeah. one of those, it's one of those things I think it, it gets undershined because no of No Iron Chef. What was that? <laughs> no, good onions, I will eat raw. 
I can't. Do that. I used to when mm-hmm. I was a kid, but not anymore. Like I love you know this. I love pickled onions. I always have a, a container in my fridge that has onions, cucumbers, and sometimes peppers. I have peppers in it right now that's soaking in vinegar. Fucking love it. I used to eat that. constantly. I could do. I could do the raw garlic challenge. If you, no, you couldn't. Mm. Low garlic. Okay, so that got twelve uh, percent of the vote. Onions did, and uh, that was probably all me. I won't even <laughs> lie about that. What else? <laughs> no, it probably wasn't anybody, all me. Any, I didn't do it that many times. I did it like four times. Anybody, anybody else can, can totally rig this. Stuff. I don't. Yeah, care. totally. I'm not gonna lie. I, I usually allow, allow it. Like sometimes, sometimes I, I I did have it at first where it was set where you couldn't, uh, but then I was just like, fuck it. it. And, and so, so I like put, put it as an hour weight, weight and then I was like, fuck, fuck it again. again. And, and now it's just like, if you just reload the page, you could just vote as many times. I didn't know that. I would have really front loaded onions otherwise. Yeah. yeah. I don't okay. care. <laughs> hey, avocado. Avocado got 12% also. I don't have my life, Mari. Dude, avocados are the grossest fucking thing in the world. I love avocado. I love them. I voted for those too. I did too. <laughs> Seriously, the worst. You are crazy. No. Avocados, avocados are great. great. You, you put, put them on, on pond. pond. Okay. The bread. only thing that in the world that I will eat that is green and slimy is my own boogers. Like, why the fuck would I want to eat something green and slimy? You, you eat guacamole? Yeah. No, you don't no, eat I guacamole. Do not eat yeah, guacamole. you don't. No. Yeah, that's, that's true. Guacamole is good. We'll You're have to out. make you close your eyes and eat it. Oh, no. I've had plenty of guacamole. Like, this is... like my. Did, Did you, you eat it when we made Pantacones? No. I won't you eat had, it anymore. You had the, you, you had, had the, the ho- what was it called? The Hogan? I can stand. Oh, wow. I can stand plain avocados in sushi. And that's the only time. Mm. And that's because it's masked by so many things. Um, but I usually will pick it out of sushi. But you don't like avoc- the don't. flavor of it? The avocado really is a mild flavor. I know, that's why I can it handle is. it in the sushi. Because like the wasabi and everything else really makes it so I can get it down. And I say get it down because that's what I do when it's in there. Is I just get it down. I just love it. Really, I I, I, I just, just love it too. No, my like, avocado, avocado definitely, definitely needs salt, salt though. I worked at a restaurant, right? I worked at a restaurant and um as as a sous chef. And one of the things I had to make was guacamole. And the first time I had to make it there, I'm like, I'm not the right person to make guacamole. I fucking hate it. I you know, and you have to taste everything you eat yeah. and everything you make. Yeah. And um, I'm like, this is. You know, I, I don't know if I'm going to, you know, if this is any good because I literally hate it. And so you know, they made me make it and I tasted it. And I'm like, well, how is it? I'm like, it's fucking disgusting. And they taste it like, this is perfect. But I just make it taste this disgusting every single time. <laughs> and so every time I made it, I had it. I, I've eaten it a lot. Like I've tasted yeah. it a lot. I've never liked it. That'd, That'd be, be Mari's favorite, favorite job. job. Yeah, I would. No, you and I, once I you once that, you do though. it for a while, you fucking hate it. No, no, you really do. I work. I could eat burritos, burritos every day. day. Yeah, it's not about eating burritos every day. It's like every fucking meal you dish out, you gotta taste to make sure it tastes okay. Oh, How would you like yeah, to work, work at Cafe Rio, Rio every time when someone ordered nachos? Yeah, you have to fucking sing and yeah, it's, it's gotta be so so annoying. So annoying. Okay, so. Fuck avocados. Broccoli. Broccoli got uh eight and a half percent. I like broccoli. Broccoli's really good. Like but... not by itself. Like I wouldn't eat just like broccoli. Really? Like it would have to be cooked. And... Oh no, I love raw broccoli. No. Do you like know steamed what? and something. I don't know. I like Some... it blanched better than something, something I haven't I had, had as a vegan, vegan which, which is funny, um, because they used to eat all the time prior to being vegan. vegan. I've been vegan, vegan a long time, but was, was cheese. Broccoli with cheese? Yeah, but cheese on vegetables in general uh, is a way just to fucking ruin them. That's why I've never done it being vegan. Like, why? Why? Because like, it was good. No, vegetables are so amazing. Like, why? You put the cheese on it if you can't stand the vegetable. I'd eat, I'd I'd eat broccoli, broccoli with cheese sauce. sauce. Mm. Ugh. I, I have. I, I, not even. Yeah, no. I haven't. I show. I have well, no interest in that whatsoever. Yeah, I'll make it for you one day. I'll pee in it. And you'll be like, oh, this is gross. And be like, yeah, I told you. This is really fucking gross. Well, you told him now, so you can't he do won't, it. He'll forget. I'll forget. <laughs> and, no, this is Jordan, though. He'll be like, this is really gross. But it's in front of me. <laughs> um, um. <laughs> it's true. Oh, Jordan. Um, I but I, I like broccoli a lot. This next one, though. Um, artichokes. Artichokes. They got the same. They're delicious. I they're, think they're really hard to... Uh, if you're going to prepare them it's, it's a really joke difficult like it's such a, 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 such 
and it has for such little it, outcome. But, but uh, I agree. Okay, okay so, so there's two two, two parts, parts to it. it. That's you, you you can enjoy each, each leaf by dipping it in like your sauce, sauce and then just eating the ends of each no, part. No, because of it. it has like hairs. Well, well, no, no, you, you clean it all off, but you, you it's it's, it's kind of like a a reward for making it like. I made, I made this, and then, then you, you you get, get to individually. individually. It, it takes about thirty minutes if you're doing it that way, like peeling each leaf off and then dipping it. Like I get and finally you get to the heart, and it's just the best thing. thing. I get the experience of it. Yeah, yeah. not worth I've, it. I've done it like I've, I've actually cooked. Like if someone it's not gives gross. it to me, I will eat it. Yeah. You know, but oh yeah, no. If someone gave you a cooked artichoke, you'd be like, "Hell yeah, I don't have to do anything for this." Probably. Yeah. Yeah. You'd probably that's totally what's right. so great about jars of artichoke hearts because you get the best part with no effort. Do you know what I hate? But some still have the hairs, or I don't know how to well, call if, them. But it's like, you... feels like hairs. they shouldn't. This one weirds me out too. Like, this is one of the, the few vegetables that I refuse to eat, and I've made it my mission to eat this year. I'll, I'll make it for you. you. Beets. Yeah, I, I like have beets. A with they it. got eight. I think I haven't ate them in them in a really long time like years but i refuse to eat this them. is what's really funny don't because, because they're, they're just like, like potatoes. potatoes my parents no, they're not they're, they're totally... totally my parents have grown beets every year in their garden since i was a fucking child what, what do they, they use them for, for? A fucking child yeah like what do they eat them i, I mean i don't know well, i know but, but like what, what do they make, make out of them? a lot of people sometimes they just blanch them with butter okay. sometimes they do weird things really? with them i don't know oh. yeah and i only remember food. i never ate them when i was a kid until one time i was like you have to try them i t- tasted it tasted like fucking dirt never ate mm. them again and i haven't eaten yeah. them to this day and they love them and i remember this was like a year ago maybe a year and a half ago i came over to, to jordan's house like what the fuck is that smell? And he's like, "Oh, I'm making borscht." I'm like, "Who the fuck makes borscht?" I like, do. <laughs> he's like, "Oh, I love it. I make it all the time." I'm like, you're a fucking loser. Like, <laughs> I like borscht, but I haven't made it in a while. I need it, but I do need to actually uh, expand my horizons and really try them again. Uh, I, I mean, I would try it again, but I mean, because like, the, la- like, the last vegetable I did that with, I'm making a borscht right, right now and salivating. salivating. Because like the last, <laughs> I did that with Brussels. Because the last time, like I went, probably fifteen years that eating a Brussels sprout, Brussels sprout, and I I love them. Yeah, I never know. eaten them before, but I thought they were really gross, and I I, I had that in my mind yeah, when mm-hmm. I tasted them, and I loved them. Yeah, it, so, so so I'm I'm I gotta give beets a second chance. That's, yeah, that's me my too. Goal. That's... Tomato. So, I give beets a I chance. I like tomatoes a lot. Um, I get. Uh, hives in my mouth when I eat some tomatoes. Oh, really? Yeah. If they're super acidic. Do you like is them, it, Jordan? It, tomatoes? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm not, not really a fan, fan of tomatoes, to be honest. To be honest. I, I, I like, like tomatoes, tomatoes in things, and I can, I can have, like, a sliced tomato on, like, a hamburger or something like that. that. Vegan, Vegan, obviously. I can't do that. I can't and do a sliced tomato on a hamburger. Or on, like, a veggie sandwich or something. But I love ketchup. Yeah. yeah. I, I love like, like but I like marinara sauce. I, I, think I wouldn't eat a tomato on its own. A lot of people will eat them. Play, like, like I, I had a neighbor one time come over and he had like a whole bag of tomatoes and he's like, and here's, here's one, one too. Just, just put, put it in your mouth. mouth. And I'm just like, I'm gonna, gonna hold this in my mouth, mouth and okay. not eat it. <laughs> I felt really bad the other day. Um... <laughs> Sorry, what? I I completely was like debating in my head of how to start this story. I'm like. Should I start this way? Should I start it this way? <laughs> Which led to nothing. Try, Try version, version one. one. Try version one. Okay, so we were, uh, last week we were helping my parents harvest some of their garden. Mm-hmm. And my mom grabbed a ripened uh, little tomato, what do they call yeah, them? Yeah, cherry, cherry tomatoes. tomatoes. She's like, oh, Iz, you love tomatoes here, and shoved it in her mouth. This, this is what, what my, my neighbor, neighbor did. did. And exactly. Isadora hates tomatoes. Yeah. She's always hated tomatoes. And she spit it out, and she goes, what's wrong with you, Grandma? I hate tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> She's yeah. funny. See, I, wasn't I wasn't that. that I wasn't that, that. You weren't six. Did you yeah. say her name? Oh, fuck. <laughs> yep. You said a complete name this time. Yeah. I got it. No evidence. You have Shit. to bleep it out. Bleep. Bleep anyway. hates tomatoes. Do you know how hard that is to add a bleep? Just, Just worry about, about it next time. time. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah I, I think, think maybe I could eat a tomato, tomato if it had like 
salt, salt on, on it or something. Or something. I, I like them prepared and cooked inside things. I like raw it tomatoes, as like a salad never a fan. Or... I can't even do them. I, I just don't know how people, how people can eat them raw. raw. I don't even. Yeah, the same I way. can't eat them. I just can't do it. Lettuce. 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 I do not Good like lettuce it. is amazing. Shitty lettuce is terrible. Yeah, I don't so, like it like just by itself. Like it well, has to be mixed in with. No, lots have of you ever things. had like butter lettuce? No. Oh my god, you could eat butter lettuce plain. Okay. No. Yeah. Or like use it as a wrap. I love lettuce uh, wraps. I was, I was thinking, thinking of, of uh, the, the salads, salads I always get. get. Like, like somebody, somebody prepares the salad for me. For me I, take I take the tomatoes, tomatoes out. Back to tomatoes. tomatoes. Yeah, but, but I just I just found this um awesome dressing called Goddess. I'd never heard of it before. The Annie's, it? right? Yeah. Yeah. Why well, how the, the fuck, fuck did no one, one ever tell me about this shit? Because I addicted to it. I ate it years ago and got sick of it and I moved on. Well, well I, just I just found, found it, it and I'm in love. Uh, if you're looking at salad dressings, because that was like the closest to ranch for a long time. Yeah. yeah, yeah it's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. Yeah, it's, it's good. I'm not It's, it's expensive. expensive. It is really it's like expensive. Six bucks My favorite, if you're going to get like into sauces, is a sweet medallion onion. I don't. That's the one with the apricot on it? No. Well, that's that a one? poppy seed one. It's, okay. a, it's an onion poppy seed. I love oh. that one too. That's a really good one too. Okay. Um, so you, you like onions? onions. Yeah. We, we already talked about this. this. Love onions. I'm not, I'm I'm not, not a fan onions. of onions. I, don't I don't like, like them cooked, cooked into things. Do you, you just made me want to make right now fucking French onion soup. I'm going to make that mm. next week. And fucking I love French onion soup. You made me want to eat fucking borscht. You make borscht. I'll make French onion soup two days in a row. We got two mils knocked out. Okay, carrots. I love carrots. Why? Like, this, this is, is fucking finish this shit. <laughs> but go well, on, going back to lettuce. Lettuce is amazing <laughs> and it's undervalued. Like too many people just focus on iceberg. I just mix it in with stuff. I can't eat it. Alone. Oh, lettuce is amazing. Sandwiches. Lettuce is good to juice. Lettuce is good to eat. Like I could eat lettuce just plain. Love it. I like spinach too. Yeah, I, like I think spinach is underrated. I think so. I like oh, spinach a lot. If I'm gonna eat spinach, I'll eat kale. Like, yeah, yeah I, you, you, I, just I just need to get some kale. kale. I haven't really picked that up. I've get, never eaten kale. Get baby kale if you haven't really eaten too much. Let's get some kale and make some kale chips because that's what everyone raves about. about. I've never eaten it, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah we'll have to try it. So it's carrots, juicy. I like them <laughs> steamed. Like, they, I don't like them crunchy. That's the thing. Okay, I got Callie's the opposite, right? You know what? Let me, let me, I want to fix something. Everything you say needs to be steamed. No, 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 no. Why? You should blanch. Blanch your vegetables, don't steam them. I don't even know what that means. Blanching is like a very it's quick like a boil, right? So, like, very quick. It's not like you soak them, but it's pretty quick. Um, they're still raw in the middle. It's so much better. Okay. Yeah. I don't cook, so... Uh, I, think I think blanch. You gotta blanch. Something, something funny about carrots, carrots is that Callie... Callie yeah, Callie, she won't eat them. She, she won't, won't eat anything orange. orange. She's gotten better. We have a... Uh tattoo of a carrot my entire shin is a fucking carrot and, and she, she, she suggested, suggested that Casey get, get carrot and yeah but i love my carrot like the thing i love the most about my my carrot tattoo since it's part of a huge piece you know yeah, it's yeah. not like it blends in isolated mm-hmm. and so people look at it and they always do a double take and they go is that a That's fucking funny. carrot <laughs> well it's <laughs> funny because you got, you got the, the carrot on your leg like, before you got, got the other stuff, stuff. i remember when it was just the carrot and, and the X's, but, but yeah, it was, it was just, just a carrot, carrot and it's just like a big fucking carrot that's a vegan on it. On it. <laughs> it's it's like, like, all right. right. I love, I love the carrot. Like, it yeah. looks good. And it is almost the entire length of my shin. Like, it's a huge yeah, fucking a, carrot. It's a big, big ass, ass carrot. carrot. Yeah. I bet that hurt. No, shin's not too bad. Calf is way better. Worse. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I've gotten it. It hurt a lot. Yeah, sure. calf was way worse. Shin's, Shin's weird, weird just because you feel it on your bone. Yeah, it's definitely mm-hmm. weird. Too, too bad, bad tattooing. Lower down I here, it, it was kind of bad. I thought it hurt more when it was closer to the bone. It's all about how many nerve endings you have. Oh, okay. Yeah. I really, I really hope, hope someone, someone finds, like, like a, a, a an alternative, alternative to the lanolin and transfer I'm paper. I'm waiting to get... I have a couple tattoos I want to get that I'm waiting. Yeah, I want to finish things up. I want a lot. Well, well, I mean, it's only a matter of time. Of time. The, the, the chemist, chemist that can, can come up with a transfer paper, paper all you need is um, gentian violet and a way, way of transferring it that doesn't involve lanolin. If you're a chemist, you can make bank off of vegans. I'm just, I'm just saying. saying. Every you vegan tattoo <laughs> artist is going to do it. Uh, let me just be honest. You're not going to make bank. No, you're going to make... Oh, yes, you will. No, because what will happen is that every other company will just switch to your formula. Yep. So unless you patent it, maybe. But you're not going to make bank. You might do well, all like, right. Well, like, sell it to a company. No, you'll, you'll, you'll make, make bank. 
I mean, I wish you'd make bank, but I don't think you'll make bank. Anyway, do it. Because you don't have to good tell for me. Everyone. Because here's the problem that you're going to run into. As soon as the people know it's available, every vegan is just going to be like, oh, well, it's available, so vegan tattoos are possible now. And they don't really know. Like, you're not going to know. And there's too but many, the, the there's too many unethical. It. Yeah, the vegan artists will. Do it but there's not it. that many vegan artists. And so there's too many people that will go to somebody and they're like, well, my ink's vegan. Well, I guess the paper's vegan. They yeah. just don't know, and that's gonna be fucking sad when that happens. Well, no, because now, now the let's, the unknowing, the unknowing person is not gonna know that because you know. Let's just be honest. Most people still aren't probably aware of this fact. Yeah, yeah. that the the paper they use for the transfer isn't vegan. That being said, do you think it's really if hard if they draw on skin. your skin, if they, if they draw on your skin, skin with markers, markers then it's vegan. vegan. If yeah. they're using all vegan setup. setup. I mean, I would I would lay bets that there's vegan tattoo artists that don't aren't even aware of it. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. for, for sure. sure. Oh, you know, yeah. I, think I think it's becoming, becoming more aware though. though. Slowly, it's sad that this issue is completely on the consumer to be aware of though. Mm-hmm. Like the consumer should be able to ask what is being done to them yeah. and what is being used, and they should get a clear answer. And unfortunately, yeah. this is one that just people weren't very clear on. Oh. Does that mean that like? I really don't have a vegan tattoo now. Yeah. I mean, the actual tattoo is vegan. Well, the well, ink every... that stays in there is vegan. And, and everything, like, like all the lanolin washes, washes off. It doesn't actually go into the skin. skin I so. know. It's yeah. just it's, it's just a part, a part of the process. process. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's a sad part. Yeah. yeah so. so. Well, I would try to make it. The, 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 way, the, way, the way I pretty, pretty much look at it is that my vanity isn't, isn't worth animal, animal suffering, suffering right now. No, and let's be fair, tattoos are complete vanity. Yeah. yeah. That's what they are. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it's just, yeah, I agree. It's just not worth it. You know, unfortunately. It makes me really sad, though. Yeah. yeah. yeah but cause... they're really expensive here anyway, so I probably, it's better for my economy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, last one. Peace. Uh, I don't care about peace. Six percent. Uh, if, if you put, put them in things. things. They're not too bad. It's, it's not, not like my favorite. favorite. It's, it's not, not like I'm going to eat a bowl of peas. Yeah. Oh, this is so, so fucking good. good. <laughs> Give me the end of this list. Do you know what I have not had this year that I just fucking want more than anything? What's, What's that? that? Boiled peanuts. I haven't I ever had them. My, my, my... You guys are obsessed with peanuts. My, my southern jelly was telling me all about boiled peanuts and how the best thing in the south. I tried. I look up how to make them. And it's ridiculous because you have to buy green peanuts, and green yeah. peanuts only last like a couple weeks after harvest. Well, that's, well, that's why, why it's so popular, popular in the south because there's so there's many the harvest, fields. right? Yeah. So to me, to get them here in Utah is really fucking expensive, and it's a joke. Like to be able to make it myself. We well, can get them at the farmers, farmers market, market, right? Sometimes. sometimes. Yeah, but the, you can get them at the downtown farmers market, and I'm gonna shit all over that. I hate the fucking downtown farmers market. It's a joke and a half. Why? It's for hippie rich fucks that don't Is even it really get it. It's, it's actually I think way it's only expensive. Like two, two to four, four farms, farms there. Now? Last time I was there, I counted five. Wow. wow. Yeah. Like, and there's a good hundred vendors. It's all like, look at my hippie necklace and look at my look at this this art, art that I sell. I look at my shitty artwork. Look at my no. shitty photography. The, the, no, no, I, I agree. agree. You, you should go. You should go. Yeah, you definitely. You need definitely to experience, experience it, but then you need to go to Murray or go to a real farmers market where it's just farms and it's just them selling their produce. Cool. There's lots of farmers markets. Every city has one now. Pretty much. We have one that's open not year round, but it's just their own farm. It's to farm over here. They sell all their own produce out of a stand. I love it. I love it a lot. I like your nipples, Jordan. <laughs> Show me your nipples again. <laughs> See, Jeremy always loves Rub your nipples for me. People. So what's really funny yeah. is your areolas are kind of big, but your nipples are fucking teeny. Well, well sometimes, sometimes my areolas shrink, shrink too. too. <laughs> I just, I just have, have to get your areolas shrink. Oh, look, you're yeah, getting... Oh, your tits oh, getting hard. That. Boom. Boom. It's, it's shrinking, shrinking for, for you. you. They're a good size. They're okay. But, but I have small nipples. I have small areolas too. Look at this. Look at oh, you had them pierced, right? I did at one point. They are. Really I just cool. have to say, say that, like, like this podcast feels very poorly because I'm rubbing my nipple produced to this week, week. Yeah. and I apologize, I apologize to anyone I'm listening sorry, to this for the first time. No, no it's, it's not your fault, fault at all. <laughs> it's, it's the fact, fact that, that we're rubbing, rubbing our nipples. nipples. Well, yeah. Yeah, well, I would show you mine, but. That would it be appropriate? No, it's, no, it's totally, totally appropriate, appropriate but not, <laughs> not, not for Jeremy. Jeremy. That's what I mean. Don't worry, I'll close my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you didn't see that, but um, <laughs> you listeners. <laughs> but, but yeah, yeah I really, really want, want to have, have a farm, farm make, make my own veggies, veggies and, and fucking, fucking grow your own. Make them. Make them. Are you gonna make them? I'm gonna make them. Oh, oh my, my god, god Jim. Um, <laughs> like, like seriously, seriously this... I think you guys are just tired. Yeah, yeah if, if you really, really want to know the truth, truth we should have the podcast out, out in yeah. a uh, half an hour, an hour and we're, we're just last minute. Oh my god, shit. Like, I know how late all it was. of you guys who are listening really want to know about me, and no one asked me questions, so I'm sorry, but maybe next time they'll yeah. find yeah. me again and ask me lots we'll, of questions. We'll have you on again. We asked you questions, didn't we? No, but like, more. Yeah, yeah just, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll ask questions, questions next time kidding, and I apologize. No, I, I'm just okay, what questions right. do you want to talk about? No, I was just kidding. Okay, I got a question for you. What was the most awkward sexual experience you've ever had? Uh, well, it's really embarrassing, so... That's the whole point of the awkward part. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think if I talk about it, I'll regret it, so I probably shouldn't say anything. Jordan's eyes is like, no. <laughs> it, wasn't it wasn't with me. me. No, it was not. Because <laughs> what's awkward, awkward about this? this? So, so. Oh, you're pinching your nipples when you were I doing was, that. Yeah, I, I was popping my collar with my it nipples. Makes me embarrassed. Just what? Just thinking about it makes me feel really embarrassed. Okay, good. I'll tell you mine real quick. Okay. Um, I, my sister, followed by my mom, walked in on me having sex with a girlfriend when I was 16. Oh. How was followed that? by your it was like my sister opened the door and my mom walked in after her they didn't know that why didn't you lock the door i didn't know they were coming home oh and she was on top like Poor choice. <laughs> 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 yeah what did, what did your sister say, say? oh my it, god <laughs> was it Chris, christy or kimberly christy my yeah. little sister at least it was christy yeah they make fun of me what about it every once in a while say? She just shut the door. Really? She didn't say a fucking word. What are you gonna, what are you gonna say? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, really? Yeah. yeah. That's, That's funny. funny. Nice. It's, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah. It's My sister still nice. makes fun of me. Like, every once in a while, she'd be like, well, at least you didn't walk in on me having sex. <laughs> true. true. It must be true. This is true. I've never walked in on her having sex. See, so, yeah, that's my most awkward sexual experience. Okay, what's yours, Jordan? It's never been awkward. Yeah, I'm awesome. awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's it. Oh, fuck. We're done. This week we heard Game of Thrones by Madza, The Sultan's Dog by Celerac, and as always, Which Side Are You On? by El Comandante. Please help people come to the Witch Side Rendezvous by donating at witchsidepodcast.com. Uh, everything helps. So if you've got a dollar, give us a dollar and help people connect with the community. Fuck shit, damn. No, 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 no. Fuck. Shit. Damn!